Now, South Africa's 32-12 victory over England in the final of the 2019 Rugby World Cup in Japan is now a distant memory in the middle of the global pandemic. But a year on, members of the winning squad look back on the historic moment with fond memories. CS Duplessis kicks us off. The Springboks returned home to the Rainbow Nation after claiming a record-equaling third World Cup triumph to a hero's welcome. From their arrival to the country-wide trophy tour, South Africans embraced the newly crowned world champions, much to the delight of captain Sia Khaleesi, who acknowledges that being the best team in the world comes with added responsibility. It, it, it did change our lives, you know, and it's all about like what you, what you do with that platform. And I think that platform should be shared, you know, uh, by, by, by doing, working as hard as you can to uplift others and help others around you and use this opportunity to help the nation, hopefully, and, and, and give the hope that I wanted to give to the young kids that, um, you know, never had the hope, and now they've seen that all this stuff is, is achievable. For hooker Malcolm Marks, the unbelievable experience will live on in his memory forever, but he maintains he is still the same guy that boarded the plane to the tournament in Japan in 2019. You are experiencing something like that and, and being able to be part of a squad like that and coaching staff like that was unbelievable. Um, I think I've learned a lot in terms of the experience and um, I think me as a person, I, I haven't changed at all, to be honest. Um, at the end of the day, it, it, it's about the team. It's, um, it wasn't actually just about the team, it was about the whole country. So, um, so yeah, I'm not much has changed for me, to be honest, but um, yeah, except the fact that there's a World Cup medal at home. Tendai Beast Mtarira retired after the World Cup and says he still needs to pinch himself when people approach him in the streets of his home city of Durban. I worked so hard you know, for it for so long. So, yeah, man, I can tell you that for a fact, when I walk in the streets now, everybody's like, uh, they, they, they're so, it's, still, it's like it happened yesterday, they're still so happy, you know. So they kind of walk up to me and just say, thank you so much. Thank you for winning the World Cup for us because it meant so much. And it's just not just South Africans. It's, you know, all Africans, you know, I mean, from everywhere that appreciated, you know, the Springboks winning last year and, uh, you know, how much inspiration and hope it gave us. Sharks captain Lukanya Am, who combined with Magazolo and Pimpi for one of the tournament's best tries, believes the pressure is on the men in green and gold now to prove why they were crowned world champions. There are a lot of uh, players that are involved in the World Cup, you know, that are back at their franchises and uh, they'll definitely bring confidence, you know, in, in players, uh, you know, within their teams. And I think uh, as us South Africans, you know, um, there's, a, there's also a responsibility, you know, it's number one in the world and uh, I think we need to uplift that and, and, and live that standard. There'll be no official test for the reigning world champions in 2020. It's not all doom and gloom though for rugby fans who will at least get to see the locally based Springboks like World Cup winners Sia Khaleesi and Lukanyo Am battling it out in two domestic competitions, something that has become a rarity over the past few seasons. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Johannesburg.